Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I tend to upload twice a week, which is Sundays and Thursdays, so I don't want you to miss a video. In today's video, we are doing a summer luxury shopping haul. I'm super excited. You guys have been asking me for a luxury haul. I feel like I just did one, but it's been a couple months now. So I have one for you all today. Um, some of these pieces were gifted to me by Farfetch. So I want to have full disclosure there and I will link those down below for you all. Um, some of these items I was gifted from my little friend, <laughs> my boo. And then also I picked up maybe one or two of them. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. Y'all. So let's start off with the clothing items because I only have two tops here and the first one is this Prada crochet tank it's a crop top though um it does come with like a little white insert underneath because this is fully crochet and if you have been following summer trends then you would know that crochet is all the rage this season so I wanted to get something that was crochet I love Prada and when I saw this I thought this would be really cute to wear um a couple different ways this summer you can pair this with some black trousers you can do it with jeans you can do it with a cute skirt um they actually do have the crochet skirt with it as well um so you can get that as a set if you want to but it's actually nice quality um the only thing about this is when I got it it kind of smells like patchouli a little bit so I don't know if this was like a return or something it did come from um the actual Prada store in Miami so yeah this is what it looks like and the size that I picked up in this is a size 46 which I believe is a 14 if I'm not mistaken yeah but it's a size of 46 European so this is really cute this is what the back looks like pretty plain but it just has the Prada logo right there in the front and it's a chunky type of crochet knit too so really 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 like this but again it smells like somebody tried it on with fragrance so hmm, not sure <laughs> the next top that I picked up is this white Jacques Mousse top and this is a crop top um, I will definitely have to try this on so you guys can see how it looks but it's really cute it's like a staple piece for summer it's just a crop top it has like a little folded piece coming down in the front here um, I got this in a size 46 as well and this is called the La Splash so he always has like the names imprinted on the inside of the tops. And yeah, I just thought this was really nice. I love Jacquemus pieces for the summertime. And I really wanted a nice white crop top. So pick this up and I think it's really nice. Again, you can wear it with so many different things. Wide leg jeans, a skirt, um, maybe a linen skirt if you want to. You can also do it with some trousers. So many different options so yeah love this okay y'all so let's go ahead and get into the shoes yes okay so these are the Jimmy Choo Bing and these are in the uh, PBC version now these also come in hot pink as well and if you want the same color they do have a full satin version and that's what I really was thinking about getting because I felt like those would be a lot more timeless than PVC but it's just something about me and PVC I just gravitate towards it you know this we go through this all the time I don't care if it's in or out I just love PVC things it's so weird so I went ahead and grabbed them just to see how I would like them and when I got them I was like I don't know if I love the fact that my toes show through here but I wore them um, in Miami love them I've worn them probably four more times since then and these are just such a fun pair of shoes I love them so much now like no regrets whatsoever I like how fun they are because they are PVC so it just gives like that playful edge but then they're like super princessy with the um rhinestones around and it's just an easy shoe to throw on because it's a mule and i live for a mule so love these i have the bing also in the uh cream patent leather those are extremely comfortable i have walked the mall in those even when i went to atlanta and i um, met up with park avenue we were walking all around um i think it's buckhead 
shops and I had those on no issues whatsoever. These on the other hand are a little bit more uncomfortable which makes sense because this PVC it's not that real soft pliable piece PVC. This doesn't have any give. So I would totally size up in these if you do plan on getting them. Um, I would get um, a half size to a whole size up. I wear a seven and a half and I got a seven and a half in the patent leather version but in these I got a 38 and I wouldn't have been mad at a 38 and a half just for like comfort you know but the 38 fits just fine lengthwise and I love these so much and you guys have seen these on my Instagram and if you follow me again you've seen them on my stories as well so absolutely love these they are so pretty y'all you can see honey I don't wore these down already but they are definitely my favorite pair of summer shoes at the moment and i had been having my eye on these for quite some time so i'm so happy that i was able to be gifted these by far fetch like i'm really getting my good wear out of these these are just so cute to me so let's move on so once i decided to keep the bings i knew i was going to need a bag to go with it and of course i could do a diamond bag um, but I really wanted something neon. So I was thinking like maybe, you know, a neon little clutch, something small. So I just did a really quick search on Fashion File. I put in neon handbag and I was expecting to just get something really tiny with silver hardware. Y'all, why did this Balenciaga, uh, this is the Neo bag or something like that. I don't even know because this has never been on my radar, but this bag showed up and it was $980. Now, I was Googling like, <laughs> like a mad woman because I'm like, why is this bag $980 when other colors and um, the same size was on the site for like $2,000 and more? So when I Googled, I'm like, is this the Nano? Is this, you know, what size is this? This is actually the Neo Mini, y'all. Neo City Mini. I don't know the name of it, but it is the mini version. It is a perfect size. You can fit so much in this. And for this price, you really cannot beat it. And I'm I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see. So this is the Croc embossed um, leather and it's just such a fun summer bag. I have been gravitating towards this bag as well and I just love it. You can fit a ton of things in here. Um, I wouldn't say that this is a dressy bag and that's the thing that I kind of wanted for those shoes but because the shoes are so playful I like how this pairs with it because I can do jeans, I can do sweats with this um, you know or I can kind of dress it up a little bit like I did in Miami with the black satin dress. So it didn't look too out of place because the shoes are playful but this is just such a nice size handbag for that price especially when right now the same bag is going for over two thousand dollars on the website for balenciaga um on so many other places so yeah love this got this from farfetch and girl i don't know why they didn't want it but i'm so glad that i stumbled upon it because there was also a balenciaga little clutch and that bag was going for 1900 and I'm like, why do that when I can get a bag that is more, you know, purposeful, something that I can use way more than just a small clutch. So yeah, I love this bag so much. It is so fun. The perfect pop of color for summer and neon will always come back around um, every single, you know, season. Right now it's really popping, but again, give it a couple more years and be popping again. It also has the strap and I love that too. So you have the strap here and you can wear it crossbody if you want to. I just keep it tucked in because I've just been holding it. Girl, I got money. I got some money in here. Look at it. I don't found a couple dollars. Okay. I love that. I love when I find money in my bags. But yeah, this is the Neo from Balenciaga and I'm obsessed. I love this bag so much. So highly recommend and if I can find any of those I will link them down below for you all I do know that that's like a past season bag so now they have the ones that have more grommets on there um and so I'll link that down below in this neon color too if you guys are interested and speaking of Balenciaga I also picked up this bag now this is the Lacago bag um in the small size I picked this up while I was in Miami and y'all I had a time going back and forth between this bag or the denim bag. I went in for the denim bag 
And then when I tried it on, and maybe it's because of me having on denim, I was like, ah, I don't know about that. So I just kept looking around. I love the gunmetal as well. They had so many different colors in the extra small, but I really wanted this size because it's just so early 2000s. When I saw the white, I had to get it. And one thing that I had to have was the rhinestones on here. And I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see. I did a little reel already but the rhinestones make this bag for me it is just such a nostalgic bag i'm obsessed like y'all okay it comes with the little heart mirror okay as you can see and then it also comes with the little uh coin purse as well and it also has the rhinestones on it i don't know if you guys can see that and i ended up getting it hot stamped with my initials so i just I'm dying. It's so good. I love this bag. <laughs> I love this bag so much, y'all. It's so cute. Um, I do wish that I could just have both, like the denim and this, but let's be honest, you don't need two of these bags, right? This is like a very trendy bag, but I think it's so trendy that it'll just be a piece. You know those pieces that you just bring out like in 10 years? It's a piece, you know what I mean? A collector's piece, if you will. <laughs> so yeah, I love this so much. I just think it's so fun, so cool. And the boots that they have to go with this is super cute too. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm a bad girl. So I had to get the bag. Ah, And I know this bag isn't really for everybody, but it's just, it's fun and it's now and I love it. <laughs> so speaking of bags, I picked up this beauty. Now this was gifted to me by Farfetch as well. And how cute is this bag? So I actually got this blue Jacquemus bag to go with my um, blue Louis Vuitton heels. They're like some mules and I just don't have any blue like that in my wardrobe. So I really wanted to find something and I love this style of bag. Um, this is one of Jacquemus's newer style bags and you can do so much with this bag. So as you can see, it's just like a long rectangle. So it is like, it does have a lot of space in here. My phone does fit in here along with yeah, everything else and this is what it looks like okay so it just zips straight across I like the fact that you can carry this as like a really edgy clutch you know just holding it like this or you can wear it with the chain detailing on your shoulder and look at the chain so industrial so cool and then the clasp has its gold but the whole chain is silver so I love the mixed metals on this so freaking cute so cute so you can throw it on like this you can see that <laughs> but it doesn't end there you can also wear this really thick blue strap too and it just gives it such a fun casual edgy vibe um i don't know what this is for maybe like your cards or something you can stick in there i just thought this was so cool and i actually ended up trying it on i combined like this strap with the chain strap and made it fully crossbody with the little thing right here so it's kind of giving like the multi pochette vibes you know what i'm saying with the little coin purse right here so yeah i love this bag you can wear it so many different ways and it's just such a nice pop of color like i said i don't do a lot of blue in my wardrobe so this is so perfect i love the metallic silver that they have and i can uh, link that down below if you guys are interested because imagine metallic silver with the mixed metals and stuff so good um they have a couple other colors as well, but I like the fact that this was the smooth leather. It's just, it's so nice. And you also get a nice little pocket right there in the front. So this is just such a cute bag, y'all. So unique. I love it. I haven't seen a lot of people with this one either. So yeah, what do y'all think? I love it. Okay, y'all. So now let's move into some more shoes, okay? So these couple pairs of shoes my boo picked up for me and I was super excited. So he was actually in Miami a week after I was and he was uh, just looking for me some shoes and I'm like, you don't need to buy me anything, okay? Because he's always looking to buy me gifts. I think that's his love language, like gift giving. But anyway, he did see some Renee Calvillas and I love Renee Calvilla shoes, y'all. I love them so much. They had the pink ones and they were the ones that wrap all the way up the leg um, with the rhinestones. 
but they were going for $1,600. And I don't know what it is. It's like, if I know I can maybe get it cheaper, I'm like, hold off, don't get those. He was literally giving the lady the card and everything. And I'm like, hold off, I may be able to find those on sale. So I went searching and lo and behold, they were on sale because you guys know there are luxury designer sales going on right now, um, but they did not have my size but I did find two other pair. So we were able to get two pair for the price of one. Okay, and he just gave me that card. So I love that. So here they are y'all, so cute. So the first pair, he loved these. Now these are a mustard yellow color. And of course they have the rhinestones. And if you know anything about uh, Renee Calvilla, I don't know if these are Swarovski crystals or what, but they shine on your leg and your foot like no other pair of shoes these are so good y'all so these were down from fourteen hundred to five hundred dollars and i'm obsessed now one thing about um renee cavilla shoes i learned from getting my shoes last year for my birthday is that you need to size up up okay so i did get these in a 38 but a 38 and a half would have been real good too okay so they do fit but it's just like they're a short shoe for whatever reason um and it's weird i think they are um, Italian sizes. So Italian sizes usually are true to size, but yeah, these are 38. They look so good on the foot, but listen, if I were you, I would size up a whole size just for length alone, because girl, your little foot may be hanging off the front or the back. <laughs> but how pretty are these shoes? Okay, mustard color, so nice. And they kind of give off a gold vibe if you are brown skin like me and you put these on because of just like the yellow crystals. Um, but you know me, I feel like I need like a little clutch or something to go with it. I do have a mustard Balenciaga City Mini and I've worn these two together. But I need something a little bit more fancy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, here they are, so pretty. And if you're not familiar with the brand, they do come with one dust bag, which I do not agree with, which such an intricate, beautiful shoe. You need two dust bags. Why would you want the rhinestones to be rubbing together like that? Like that's just so wrong. But this is the dust bag you get and the boxes are so nice. Boxes almost look like Cartier, y'all. <laughs> like super super pretty but i also got another pair so here's my other dust bag and like i told you two two for the price of one now he got these because of the color name alone so here they are y'all these are sickening okay so these are called influencer and he just thought that that was so cool but yeah i love these these are so cute i probably wouldn't have picked these up on my own just because they're a very cool tone but it's just such a fun shoe i'm gonna try to bring it closer y'all it's really difficult and the camera's still not doing the shine justice but like i said they are called influencer that's the color of them so they have a gradient effect they have yellow they have like a periwinkle blue and the actual shoe is lavender so next on the shoe list, I picked up a pair of Golden Goose. Now these were gifted to me by Farfetch as well. And listen, I know these ain't for everybody, but I've been loving Golden Goose for a while. I just could not bring myself, okay? But now that I have them, like I'm on the hunt for every color because they're so comfortable. And I don't worry about getting them dirty because they're already kind of dirty. So I like the ones that have like glitter on them and just like little fun things. But I need a more neutral pair because these have black shoelaces. So it just makes them a little bit more hard, you know. But I think these are so cute and they're just fun to wear. And I've been wearing these nonstop. Like these are my throw on and go sneakers, y'all. So they only come in whole sizes. So I went down to a 37. I find that they run large but i'm a 37 and a half so yeah these are the golden goose i'm not gonna spend too much time because i know y'all probably like girl dirty shoes really but they're so comfortable i get the hype now i promise i do <laughs> okay y'all so for this next pair of shoes i actually picked these up myself and it's crazy because i needed these like you know i have a lot of shoes it's hard to say you need something, but I really did need these shoes because I realized I don't have one pair of black barely there sandals in my shoe collection. How did I manage to do that? Like how? How? So believe it or not, I picked up a pair of Louboutins, y'all. I have not purchased Louboutins in 
years okay but these i had to have and i actually got these in store and they're so nice like i love these shoes okay so here they are y'all just a nice pair of black barely bare sandals very sexy i love them of course they are leather they're in the smooth leather you get your red sole of course and i just think they're so nice and look at this little pvc piece here so it almost looks like the strap is like floating on your foot so cute so yeah i tried these on because again like i was looking for a nice pair of barely there sandals tried these on and the sizing is a little bit crazy i did get these in a 38 but these run really small so again i would size up a half size to a whole size in these for comfort and fit okay um because this strap is tight which i appreciate because i always have an issue with slingbacks slipping off of my foot this one is a little bit looser on my left foot but on the right foot it fits perfect um so i'm so glad that you know these worked out for me because a lot of the times i cannot do the slingback because the shoe ends up just falling off my foot now i am hoping that the leather doesn't stretch out too much over time to where that left shoe is going to become an issue but y'all how gorgeous are these shoes they're very sexy but they're timeless so you will have these in your collection for years to come and they're not ridiculously uncomfortable they're nothing like um the so kates or anything like that so the 100 millimeter heel is the best for me um i cannot do the 120s anymore honey that time has come and gone but these are really cute so if you've been thinking about a pair of loops i think these are a good option y'all so i figured if i'm gonna go classic barely there sandals why not go for a pair of lubes no one does it better than christian lubitson you know he does a sexy black shoe like no other it looks amazing on a woman's foot like just so good so i'm really happy that i did pick these up cannot wait to wear them you can wear these in so many different ways you can wear them with like casual with jean shorts and a top. Um, you can wear them with a dress, you know, and dress them up, you can wear them with jeans, whatever have you. So, so cute, love these. Okay y'all, so lastly, we have a couple of accessories. And the first is these Tom Ford sunglasses. You guys have seen these several times on my Instagram, also in my last vlog. These are called the Warren, I believe. This is what they look like. They're probably extremely filthy, but they are an oversized gold pair of lens with that beautiful gradient. And for whatever reason, I am really into oversized lenses right now. So when I saw these, I had, had, had to have them. Do you understand me? And let me tell you, they are a showstopper. So I will totally link these down below for you all because I get so many questions every time I wear these on my stories or wherever I'm getting asked, where are these sunglasses from? Where can I find these sunglasses? So if I can find them again, I will link them down below for you guys. These are the brown ones, I believe. Um, brown and rose gold so these are so good perfect for summer but even perfect for winter too because they're so large i just love them they're like it reminds me of the early 2000s okay y'all so last but not least we have a little chanel um and this is an accessory it's not a bag or anything i'm sure you can tell by the packaging i haven't even opened it up <laughs> However, I wanted to open it and show you guys if I can. Some of you may already know what it is because I showed it on my uh, Instagram stories, but I'm, I love it, okay? So this is what it looks like when you open it up. You pull back all of this like velvet material, like so. Then it's protected with a little foam. And this is what we have. Y'all, I have a classic Chanel pearl necklace. Now, I picked this up for a few different reasons, okay? Because this one to me is very special. When I was in Dubai for my birthday, I was going back and forth about a uh, necklace very similar to this. And I was just like, do I really want to do I not? But I was so overwhelmed in Dubai that I just could not make any decisions. So here we are almost a year later and I was able to grab this one. And one thing that's different 
different about this particular necklace is that it has five of the motifs on there, like the Chanel logo, and both sides are um, with the rhinestones. So usually it's only one side, and if it flips, you know, it's just silver. Both sides of the CCs have rhinestones. You know, it's just all about the little details. Um, and then the pearls are just so pretty. I like the spacing on this. Right now it's doubled, so you can wear it double. You can wear it as like a choker. But also the reason that I got this and what sold me on actually finally taking the plunge to get this necklace is that I can wear it as a belt, okay? So it does fit around my waist as a belt. Um, and it just adds like a nice little detailing but it's such a classy classic piece and believe it or not these are always sold out so to be able to find one and it just looks so perfect and just so pretty I had to go ahead and get this so I'm really excited that I have this I feel like this is a piece that I will have in my collection for years I mean I can make it kind of young now like I said by just doubling it up tripling it up around my neck wearing it as a belt but as I get older I can wear it in its more traditional style which is long with just like a button-down shirt um, or whatever have you so I really do like this no regrets and I'm just really excited to finally have this piece in my collection it's so pretty I don't know when I'm gonna wear this I was thinking about just pairing it like super casually and just wearing it for like Sunday fun day and then also um I do have a tweed blazer dress that I really want to wear with this whenever I wear it it's sleeveless so cute I got it in Miami when I was there so yeah I'm really excited about this piece and again it's just like one of those timeless classic pieces now it is costume jewelry and I know a lot of people have an issue with that but all of the costume jewelry that I have purchased um, that is designer I have not had any issues when it comes to tarnishing scratches nothing okay so I am not opposed to designer costume jewelry if you're going to get your wear out of it and I feel like I always get my wear out of the costume jewelry I, I mean it just really brings together a lot of my looks so yeah no regrets with this one let me know what you guys think about this too all right y'all so that is the end of my summer luxury shopping haul I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did um I really love all the pieces that I've shown you I've worn several of these items you know before and I'm I'm gonna get so much more wear out of them I can just see it and I like the fact that I didn't get things trying to mix and match you know together in this haul I just bought things that I really enjoyed and that I love and they will work you know and flow seamlessly into my existing wardrobe so I will make sure to have everything that I can find linked down below for you guys in the description box and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like luxury hauls so I will talk to you girls on my next video bye